Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we will take a look into assertional method. Well, the assertions class provides the static assertional method, which helps us to validate that the actual object is null. Well, whenever you want to verify that the actual object is null, then you can go ahead and use assertional method to assert the actual object is null. This method takes actual object and checks whether it is null. If the actual object is null, then test case will pass. If the actual object is not null, then the test case will fail. All right. So it's simple. Whenever you want to verify that the actual object is null, then you can go ahead and use assertional method. Next, let us take a look into few overloaded assertional methods. So let's go to Java doc of this JUnit framework. So here you can see this is the assertions class within that there are few overloaded assertional methods. So these assertional methods are static methods you can see here. So first overloaded assertional method takes single parameter of type object. And second overloaded assertional method takes two parameters, actual object and the message. So this message basically we can, this message field basically we can use to add the custom error message. So whenever the test case will fail, then this custom failure message will be displayed in the report. Third overloaded method, assertional, it takes two parameters. First is actual object. Second is a supplier functional interface. And this supplier functional interface is a functional interface and we have to use the Lambda expression to implement this functional interface. This supplier functional interface implementation will be evaluated lazily. It means if the test case fails, then only this supplier, you know, functional interface implementation will be executed and this message will be shown in the result. All right. So these are the three overloaded assertional methods. Let us go ahead and let us understand all these overloaded assertional methods in inaction. Let us head over to the IntelliJ idea and let's go to our project. And first what we'll do, we will create a method and then we'll test that method by writing the JNA test case. So go to the student service class over here. And within the student service class, let's create one method, which we call basically as a method under test, right? So public, let's give return type as student. Let's give method name as get student boy ID. And then let us pass student ID as a parameter. Perfect. So here we have a list of students. Let us iterate our list of students and filter the particular student with student ID. So this is the list. So just call students. All right. So list has a stream method. So let us call stream method over here. Next stream has a filter method. So let's call the filter method over here and look at here filter method takes predicate as a functional interface and we have to provide the Lambda implementation for this predicate functional interface. So just call this filter method and then pass the lambda expression over here. So just pass student object as a parameter to lambda implementation and then lambda symbol. And in a body, just write the condition like student dot get ID equal equal to student ID. Then return the student. For that, let us call find first method. It returns the student object first student object from the stream next if student is not exist in the stream then we can call or else method and we simply pass null next let us have a return statement over here perfect now we have written a method get student by id it return the particular student by id Next, let us write the test method to test this method. For that, go to student service test class over here. And here, let's write the test method. Public wide, let's give method name as get student by ID test using assert null. All right, next let us make this method as a test method by annotating it with at test annotation. 
so basically this add test annotation mark this method as a test method next within this method let's create object of student service next let's create a student 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 equal to new student and then pass id1 name ramesh all right and then call student service dot add student to add the student perfect now we have added one student to the students list next here let us declare on local variable of type student and let's call it as actual object equal to student service dot get student by id and then pass id one perfect so look at here we have added student with id one to the students list next we are getting the same student by using get student by id method because look at here we are passing the student id one okay so in this case the actual object is not null next let us use assert null method to assert or check whether the actual object is null so for that let us type here assert null and notice here there are three overloaded assert null methods just call the post one it takes single parameter and then pass actual object perfect so this assert null method basically verifies that the actual object is null next if i run this test case this should fail because this actual object contains the student object let us run the test case and you can see here test failed and look at the report here expected null but was the student object all right so basically we have to use a certain null you know method to check the actual object is null right so what we'll do we'll pass the student id here which is not exist in the list for example student id 2 so student id student with id 2 is not exist in the students list because we haven't added student with id 2 to the list right so if i call this get student by id method with id 2 then this should return the null for example if you go to this method you can see if the student with a given id is not exist in students list then it should return the null okay perfect Let, let's go back to student service test class go to this method and now the actual object contains the value null okay and if i run the test case this should pass for example here let us run the test case and look at here test passed because the actual object contains a value null and this assert null method expect the actual object as a null all right perfect next let us see other overloaded assert null methods let me comment out this and here just call assert null and in this case let us call this assert null method it takes two parameters first parameter is a actual object second parameter is the message let us pass actual object as a post parameter and the message let us say student object is not null in this case the test case should pass because a student with id 2 is not exist hence the actual object contains a value null so if i run the test case this should pass okay next let us pass the student id 1 which is there in the list now the actual object contains a value and this assert null checks whether the actual object contains null or not if it is null then the test case will pass otherwise it will fail now this should fail if i run the test case you can see test failed and notice here the message custom failure message student object is not null so this is what printed over here okay so if you want to add more details to the failure test then you can go ahead and add it to the message field over here okay perfect next let us see one more overloaded assert null method over here just call assert null and in this case let us call this assert null method it takes actual object and supplier functional interface just pass actual object as a first parameter and uh, lambda implementation 
as a second parameter. Well, supplier is the functional interface and we have to provide the Lambda implementation for supplier interface, isn't it? So here, just have a Lambda implementation and then pass the message in the body. Let us, let us say student object is not null. Okay, perfect. So basically this supplier, you know, functional interface implementation will be evaluated or executed whenever the test case fails. All right. So basically this logic will be evaluated lazily. It means whenever the test case fails, then only this logic will be executed and this message will be printed in the result. Otherwise, this logic won't execute. Okay. For example, if I run this test case, this should fail and this message will be displayed over here. Okay. So this functional interface implementation logic will be evaluated lazily. It means whenever the test case fails, then only this logic will be evaluated and accordingly the message will be displayed in the result. If the test case fails, then this logic won't be evaluated and this message won't be printed in a result. For example, let us call get student by ID method with the student ID 2 which is not exist in the list and the actual object should be null and in this case the test case will pass. Or right, just remember if you want to verify that the actual object is null then you can go ahead and use this assert null method. In next lecture we will take a look into assert not null method which is exactly opposite to this assert null method. Alright great I will see you in the next lecture.